Hi Year 10, this is a video to introduce your final practical for the chemical analysis unit uh, for semester two. What you'll need to do today, and we've also booked the same investigation for Friday, so you can repeat it and um, if things don't go to plan, is turn to the flowchart in your booklets, which you will find on page 47. Um, and I've got the electronic version in front of me. Um, so let's just look through this and I'll explain your mission for today. So you'll be given an unknown ionic compound and you'll need to work through this flowchart and the flowchart on the subsequent page um, to identify what the cation and the anion are and therefore identify the ionic compound. To start with, Let's look through this flowchart. So your first step, irrespective of what letter is on the jar that you have, you need to add two drops of sodium hydroxide, okay, NaOH, and that will be provided for you. And you'll need to do this in a test tube, and you'll need to observe any changes. Those changes will direct you either along the left-hand side of the flowchart, down the center, or down the right hand side of the flowchart and they slowly you will begin to identify the cation in the ionic compound that you have okay if you have a colored precipitate you'll move straight on to doing a flame test so this is what we've already done in the class you'll dip um, the nichrome loop you'll clean it and dip it into your unknown compound and place it into the hot part of a flame and observe the color if it's green you'll notice that we've identified the cation already and that's iron if it's blue we've identified the cation already it's copper and if it gives you an orange brown color you, there are further steps for you to follow okay if you don't find a precipitate at all what i suggest you do is complete the flame test and complete a second precipitation reaction but with sodium fluoride if you're not sure what these compounds are, use the valency table on page 6 and 7 um, to help you to name the compounds. If you find a white precipitate, once you add sodium hydroxide, then you'll need to continue down this side of the flowchart. It's um, using the skills that you've already practiced so far this semester and to analyse unknowns. And this is a very important skill in chemistry and in things like forensics. Um, once you've identified the cation, what we need to do is actually move on to the next procedure to identify the anion. So that's on the next page of your booklet. Your first step you'll notice here is using red litmus and that will be provided to you on the bottom level of the trolley and it's going to be litmus paper. And if you remember back to year nine when we did acids and bases, red litmus um, will indicate whether something's acidic or not. Um, so you'll test it and if you get no change you'll follow this side and if you get a change blue being basic then you'll go down this side of um, the flowchart and you'll follow the steps one by one and eventually you'll identify the anion in your compound so once you've identified the cation and the anion you need to work out using the valency table how many ions and how many how many anions and cations there are in to construct the formula correctly. And then, once you've done it, you need to complete one of the final pages in your booklet. So there are a whole selection of questions, but they're theory questions and you can do those at home. Um, in pairs or in your group, I suggest that you move on to page 53 and start to construct and address the questions here. So. Record the unknown, the code on the unknown. So if that was J or an A, record that there so that we can check your results. Um, then summarize the steps that you took. Now, this is really important that you can actually describe how you followed the flowchart and each step and what you were able to deduce from each step. Okay. Um, then write the full equations for precipitates that were produced and write a conclusion about your mystery sample. So I'd like to see um, the full ionic compound written 
as words and as a chemical formula. Um, the same thing for anion identification is on the back and then you have space to write your discussions on page 55. I hope that's clear and if not press rewind and watch the video again. Okay, um, you will find some clarification about how we're assessing this unit on LMS. Um, this practical that we're doing on Thursday and Friday of week three will, will form 50% of your assessment task. Um, and then I'm also collecting in your booklets. I'm assessing your answers to the questions on three pages of those for accuracy. And I'm also assessing your booklet for completion. So if it's only 5% complete, you'll only get five marks for that section. If it's fully complete, then you'll get more marks. Okay. Um, good luck and replay the video if you need to.